The bold actions of Extinction Rebellion have catapulted our climate crisis into the mainstream. But this has also led to a lot of dodgy ideas about how to solve the crisis getting airtime. Let's correct five myths that are doing the rounds. Britain is already doing a really good job of fighting climate change. The UK says its CO2 emissions have dropped by 40% since 1990, but when you include shipping and aviation, emissions have actually dropped by only 11% in 29 years. Take a look at the target for reductions from UN climate science body, the IPCC. It's steep. What we actually need from Britain is a 10 to 20% drop every single year. So let's not pretend we've succeeded. It's China that's the problem, not us. As the world's biggest polluter, China's role is important, but blaming it all on China distracts from the fact that not a single country in the global north is doing anywhere near enough. In fact, all the West's current policies and pledges put us on track for a catastrophic warming of three degrees or more without exception. This is everybody's problem. It's okay, because we'll invent a way to suck CO2 out of the air. Let's spell this one out. Whether it's direct air machines that capture carbon or pipes to pump things underground, none of this technology has been proven to work at scale. It's crazy, reckless, and so, so dangerous to rely on a phantom post-2050 technology to save us. People won't agree to their lifestyles getting worse. We're in new territory now. Public opinion has shifted on climate change, and in the face of past existential threats, societies have shown how they can pull together. So many of the changes that would flow from a decarbonized society, clean air, better public transport, green jobs, energy efficient homes, will make our lives better anyway. You just need to insulate your loft. By all means do that if you can. It's good to signal the emergency to those around us and take action in our own lives. But without mass action and political pressure, the mass from personal carbon cutting simply does not add up. These myths are a dangerous distraction from the task at hand. We already know what we need to do. Rapidly phase out coal, oil and gas. Cut energy consumption. Ramp up renewables at a speed and scale unprecedented in human history. Nothing else will avert climate breakdown. Don't let anybody persuade you otherwise.